Hey guys, I'm Emma Ryan, Integrative Nutrition Health Coach and founder and owner of Plant. Uh, today we are making homemade flours. So for those of you, maybe you're new to eating plant-based or new to eating gluten-free or grain-free or anything like that, and you're looking at all of these recipes and there's all these things like almond flour and cashew flour, and they cost quite a bit at the grocery store, but you can make them at home and save some cash. So we're going to make oat flour, almond flour, and cashew flour today. The techniques are very similar and you can sub in and out different nuts and seeds at home. So even with you know almond flour, it could be the same process as Brazil nut flour or something like that if you wanna get creative. First, the easiest one to do is oat flour. So all you're gonna need is a couple of cups of oats. So this is two cups of oats. Um, and the fun thing about oat flour is you can put all of it in the blender at one time and all you have to do is blend. So I'm just gonna dump my oats in my blender and turn it on high. Okay, so that's all you have to do with oat flour. You truly just have to put your oats in and blend. The hardest part or the worst part I should say, which is not that bad, is that you might just need to take the lid off and take a spoon and get it off the sides and then uh, push it towards the blade, depending on what kind of blender you have. So as you can see, I'll pour it into this bowl. Now we have really pretty and fine oat flour. So oat flour, like I said, is definitely the easiest to make. And if you're trying to, you know, if you're doing different baking recipes at home, Typically, it's pretty easy to substitute like a white flour for an oat flour if you can do this. However, doing almond and cashew flour is a little bit different. So it's a little bit different process. So the key thing to note with making cashew flour is that you don't ever want the cashews to cover the blade. So you can truly only do about a half a cup at a time depending on what kind of blender you have. So if your cashews cover the blade too much, you will start to make cashew butter and there'll be too much moisture. So I'm just gonna put in about half a cup and really I'm just eyeballing it to make sure that I don't cover my blade too much. So it can cover some of it, but you should still be able to see the very top of the blade. So then I'll go ahead and do this and I'll blend this on high for about 10 to 15 seconds until it's a fine powder. So now we have cashew flour. And like I said, if you have a recipe, you know, that calls for more than half a cup, which you probably will, <laughs> you'll just have to repeat this a few times. So you'll wanna make sure to get all of the cashew flour out of your blender and then repeat until you have enough on hand. Cool, so here is your cashew flour. Um, and then, like I said, you can just keep doing this until you have enough but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to almond flour to show you how this one works, and it's gonna be the same way. So I'm just gonna put just enough almonds to cover the blade. You should still be able to see the top part of the blade, and we're gonna do the same method. So you're just gonna put that on high for about 10 seconds. And that was all. Now we have almond flour. And just so you know, if you're looking um, at certain recipes, some people will call it almond meal, but almond meal and almond flour are the same thing. So now I have my almond flour and I'm gonna do the same thing with this as I did with my cashew flour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl um, here in a minute and then I'll keep repeating until I have enough on hand. So just remember half a cup at a time when it comes to almonds and cashews and with oats you can do however much your blender can handle. Keep your eye out for an upcoming video. We're making waffles soon and we're going to be utilizing the oat flour for that one. Um, and lots of our raw desserts coming in the future will use an almond flour or a cashew flour base for the crust. You can also make muffins with almond flour. There's all types of different recipes that you guys can utilize with these flours. So make sure to follow along and let us know what recipes you're looking forward to. Subscribe and I will see you soon.